Hello, grooming lovers. Hello. Uh, today I am with my girlfriend and we just got in a dog shelter to pick this dog up. I'm just going to show you in what condition he is. As you can see, he's terribly matted and dirty. We don't know if it is a male or a female. So we drove to this place, it was like a one hour drive. And we got the dog, we're going in our salon to groom him and then we're going to go to the vet to take the blood sample and do everything that is needed. Uh, the dog is in a pretty bad shape as you could see. But you see he's, he's trying to dig. That's why we don't want to stay here for too long. He's stressed. But he seems to be friendly. When the man that works in the dog shelter was picking him up, he seemed fine. So hopefully we won't have any trouble grooming him. Do dogs often do that. He wants to escape by digging under the bars. So. Okay, I'm stopping. I'm gonna stop him now and start driving. Okay, we finally got to our grooming salon. It was a one hour drive and it was very stressful for the dog. Okay, this dog seemed friendly. We don't know if it is a male or female, but you can see he's licking my hand. I think that I won't be that I won't have any trouble grooming this dog, but you never know. He's in terrible condition, so I'll probably have to take everything off. That is the best solution. And I'm just going to open the cage. Let the dog walk out. Yeah, he or she seem very friendly. But as you can see, this dog is in very bad condition. Okay, I'm going to put this leash. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try giving him some food. Just want to make contact with him. Make sure he knows I'm not the enemy, but a friend. <laughs> My goal is to make him come out from the cage by himself, but <laughs> he's not interested so, interested, so maybe I'll just have to... Okay, boy. Put him out myself. Okay, I like that time. Okay. Okay. Just yeah, this is a boy. And okay. I'm going to close the cage so he cannot come back. Let him eat. Let him sniff. As you can see, they're all dreads. I'm going to give him some water, if he wants. Yeah. 
Yeah, he was very thirsty. I think that when we groom this dog and we take this dog to a vet and everything that he's going to be a great pet and that he's going to find a good home pretty fast. You're probably going to ask me what breed he is. He definitely has a Hungarian pulley blood. I don't believe that he's a pure Hungarian pulley, but he definitely has that blood. Okay. I can pet him while he's eating. That is a great sign. You know, dogs can get aggressive if you're touching them while they're eating. And it often isn't that smart if you don't know a dog that you petted them while they're eating. But this dog is reacting great. This amount of food is enough for now and I'm just going to put him on the table and start grooming him. Okay, now comes the big test. I have to leave this dog on my grooming table. I think that I won't have any troubles with that, but okay. Okay, he always has to be careful. Oof. And actually this dog is pretty chubby Yeah, he's in a bad condition I'm going to take This off I don't know how old he is, maybe like four or five years old, maybe a little bit less. I'm going to ask the vet the same question, he's going to know better. Okay, I'm just going to let him sniff the clipper <laughs> and touch him with the clipper. Okay, I don't want him on the edge. Okay, that's enough. This dog is like <laughs> totally not interested in what's going on. Okay, I'm going to start from a place where he isn't that matted. This is an eight and a half blade that I use. Yeah, you can see everything is pretty bad. For now I can use an eight and a half. Maybe later I'm going to have to take a 10 or a 15 to get under the mats. Ok, 
Okay, I'm going to do his tail now. As you can see, his tail is in very, very bad condition. So yeah, I'm going to use a tent for the blade, for the tail. This is the first shave down, the before the bat shave down, where not everything has to be even. You look at him, <laughs> he's a great dog. Not everything has to be even on this first shave down. After this shave down, I'm going to, I mean, my girlfriend is going to give him a bat. Okay. This is Lato here. My girlfriend is going to give him a bath. And then we are going to make everything even by shaving his body again. Okay, this is maybe a little bit painful for him because you can see how much hair is there. I'm gonna have to be very gentle and also use scissors. Okay, that was on his tail for who knows how long. I just want to check if this dog is neutered. Unfortunately, he isn't neutered. I'm checking that because you have to be more careful if the dog is not neutered. You know why. I'm going to take this away.
aqui. I'm going to make a break with that leg. I'm going to continue with his body. Yeah, I'm going to shave his ears now. You can see they're very matted. And that's why I want to do it slowly. Because when the ear is this matted, the mats can stop the circulation of the ear. And when you shave the ear very fast, what happens is that blood starts rushing at the end of the ear and it can cause bruising. I want to avoid that, that's why I'm going to do it slowly. Little by little. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to leave it for a minute. Make sure that the blood does not rush too fast while I go his nose. Okay.
Okay. Let's leave it for a minute and finish this ear. This was on his ear. This is the hair from his ear canal that I have to pull out. Because this hair should be plucked out. It's not because I want to pluck it out. It's because it should. Because when there's no hair in the ear canal, the ear can breathe and it decreases the chances of an ear getting infected. Okay, I'm going to do it later. Okay, boy. Psst. Okay. Okay. Let's take the second template and I'm going to spray these blades with a spray that cools them, lubricates and disinfects them. start from his next ear. Also little by little. This ear is not that bad. Okay, after a little break, I'm going to continue shaving this ear. Okay, I'm going to continue on his body now.
This is one of the best behaved dog that ever came into my salon. He's in a terrible condition, this is not pleasant for him. Who knows when was the last time he was groomed. He is not sedated or anything. But look at him. <laughs> blade again This leg is done. Okay, boy. I want to try to make him stand. The problem is that you can see his belly is huge. This dog is overweight. That's why you always need a helper. Everything is much easier when dog is standing. Take this eight and a half for this part.
Okay, this leg is also done. Yeah, this was a tick. Okay, let's finish this leg. Okay, I need to finish his private area, it's also matted. Other side. Okay, the first shave done is almost done. I'm gonna take off this dirty glove, gloves, put on clean one so I can clean his ears. Okay. 
can see he's a great dog. First I said that he has a Hungarian pulley blood, but now I think that he might have a Lagotto Romagnolo blood. I don't know. But when we, we finish the groom, when the hair, when the new hair grows, and when we groom this dog again and make it all and make a nice haircut, he's going to be a beautiful dog. No matter what breed he is, okay. He has a lot of hair in his ear canal, as you can see. This, this is a powder that makes this hair less slippery and easier, easier to be plucked out. Again, you have to pull this hair out, you cannot make it shorter. And think that you did something. I'm going to take the hemostats. Okay, this is enough for now. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to take the clipper and finish, you know, take this hair off that is sticking out. Okay, that is fine. I'm going to take the ear cleaner now and the cotton pads. Let's take this off.
can see his ear is very clean now. So the second one. A bit more. Okay, as you can see, the ears are looking great, and this dog is, as I said, one of the best dogs that ever came in here. I'm going to do his paw pads and the nails after the bed. You can see how dirty his paws are. I'm going to give him a little break. <laughs> he might fall asleep on the bed. But this, yeah, this is another tick. Maybe, I'm not sure. No, 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 it's not. It's not a tick. Okay, we're going to give this dog a little break. Just a minute. I'm going to offer him some more food. And this is great, not a lot of dogs want to eat in a grooming salon because of the stress and everything, but this is a great sign. Okay, we're going to let him Put him on the floor now while we clean. Okay. While we clean the table, the blades, and everything, I'm going to call the vet and try to make an appointment for a neutralization operation for him today. If they're free, and we'll see you in the bathtub. Okay, we cleaned the table and the blades and prepared everything for the bath. But look at him, he was on the floor and he just went straight on the bed and, fall, and fell asleep. <laughs> this is actually Granny's bed, you know the Granny from my videos. And yesterday she went to a new home. Hopefully she's going to stay, stay there and be happy there. Okay, now I have to okay, wake him up because he needs to get a bed. My girlfriend is going to give him a bath. That is the famous apron. I also use. Okay, hopefully he's going to be great in the bathtub too. 
Yeah, I heard from the vet. We scheduled a surgery to get him neutered. So it's all going today. He wasn't happy with the bed, so we're going to take it easy. Okay, that's good. We're going to shampoo him twice.
we have to we have to stop filming the bed because if you could see he was jumping all the time and he had to help and it was hard to film all of that but we managed to give him two shampoo treatments and one dog conditioner treatment now he's clean now we have to try him and we're going to see how he will react Okay, this is enough. He did much better for drying than for bathing, which usually is not the case. You can see he is a little bit sleepy. And I'm just going to try by making sure that his ears are dry. You know, so what some water can always come in side, especially when the dog is struggling and re trying to get out of the bathtub like he did. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start with finishing his head. Going to scissor the edges around his ears. The more I look at him, the more I think that he is a Lagato Romagnolo mix. The 
but who knows? Okay, the ears are almost done. Okay, we forgot to clean this blade. I want to make the head as nice as I can, I want to make the best pictures I can so he can get adopted as fast as possible. Head looks fine. I'm going to do the pole pads now. I mean, I'm going to shave this here between the pole pads. Yeah, I'm using the 30 blade for this. Some groomers use a 40 or a 50. Even I use a 40 sometimes. 
because this is a larger dog I'm going to use a tractive blade Hoping that the camera angle is good and you can see what I'm doing. Okay. To the front legs. Okay. Actually, I'm going to use a new clipper that I bought. This tiny clipper, actually it is for pop pads, stuff like that. And I'm going to try it him. This thing is great for poodle pee, feet, poodle nose. This guy has bigger feet, so maybe it's easier to use a 40 blade, to use a regular clipper on him, but actually this is pretty cool. It is a small clipper, but it's actually very strong can get under those pads with it and actually that it did a pretty great job it is an Esculap Exacta Yeah, this is a great tool and I'm going to check his nails now. <laughs> they aren't that long, but actually they look fine. Actually the nails seem fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna do around his feet now with scissors.
always take this here between the fingers out and then take it all off See his paws already looking much better. Okay, and the last one. Okay. Okay guys, we are done. I shaved his body again and made all nice and even. As you can see, I didn't film the entire process because I don't want this video to be too long. And as you can see, he is very sleepy. And now we are going to take him to the veterinarian. The veterinarian is going to take the blood sample and do all the tests and if he can, he can. Then he will neutralize this dog and also clean his dental cavity. You can see that he has dental cavity. And he's going to stay, spend the night in the salon, but tomorrow he's going to go in temporary home before we find him. Before we find him a new owner. Okay, boy. <laughs> you can see he's overweighted. So he will have to go on a diet, but <laughs> I think that everything will be okay. 
we're also going to make some nice pictures of him to make sure we do everything we can to find him a home as soon as possible thank you guys for watching this video thank you for supporting our work thank you for liking subscribing watching and thank you for paypal tips it means a lot and that's it we'll keep you posted about this dog and how he's doing and we will definitely see you soon bye, bye. okay we just came back from the vet he is negative for 4D test, the results came out negative, so it is great, he does not have a heart form or anaplasmosis and other, but we couldn't get him neutral because I forgot that dogs should not eat before the surgery, you know I gave him food, I totally forgot that I shouldn't do that, but today is Friday and we scheduled the surgery for Monday. And he's going to be okay, he just need a, needs a little sleep. I'm going to leave some food and water and let him rest. I will keep you posted about how he's doing and what's going on. I think that he's going to find a good home pretty soon. Thank you again for watching this video and for supporting our work. We are tired and we just want to go and grab something to eat. And we will definitely see you soon. Bye. Bye. Okay, so this is Keba. One day after the groom. As you can see, he's doing pretty good on the leash. Considering that he maybe never walked on the leash. And he was just one happy dog. And this is him when his hair grew. And we gave him his second groom. As you can see, he's looking much much better there and Keba stayed in the, the temporary home for almost one year he stayed there for 11 months and as you can see he was doing great there he was a very happy dog and we thought that he might never be adopted but finally one lady reached to us and said that she wants to adopt him and here he is in our salon, we were giving him groom before we uh, sent him to the new home. And here he is, you can see this woman bought him all kinds of suits, leashes, and she's sending us pictures every day of him. And he is definitely, definitely one happy dog. As you can see, he's also in the car, she takes him everywhere she goes. And... He is having one great life.